Now others are coming alongside saying, it just doesn't work. The gold is tarnished. It's just a veneer, much like my $11.87 solid gold, genuine gold Rolex watch. Well, it is a watch. The Big Bang Theory is a theory. It's a naturalistic concept that basically did not begin with modern technology. It basically began with an Uma Elish and the Babylonian document, which was a religious document, which had to do with the collapse and the expansion of space fabric and energy in space, articles in space. So it has a naturalistic appeal, but we're going to have to pull back the veneer of that appeal to see where the real facts are. Now, the real facts show that it's a theory, but that theory is flawed. The veneer is very thin. The timekeeping mechanism is only a reference. There is no way to prove that it ever existed in the past. Now let's come to this very important demonstration of what did exist in the past. This Solnhofen mortality slab is a part of a Cretaceous formation. And I showed you earlier Cretaceous formation, the, uh, the Austin Cretaceous formation that was first studied uh, near Austin, Texas. It extends all the way to the eastern seaboard, picks up again at the White Cliffs of Dover, extends throughout Europe, including adjacent layers of the Soldenhofen mortality slab and including other areas where we have fish worldwide, the entire British Isles. Geologist Hugh Miller stated in the technical literature that the entire British Isle formation is underlain by fish like this with arched backs. They don't swim with arched backs, but this, these are suffocating distended gills, open mouths, and what a geologist Hugh Miller stated in his uh, treatise was that these fish number in the billions just in the British Isles alone. Add to that the billions more worldwide and add to that this slab which is adjacent to another Cretaceous layer that we identified and geologists have identified in Israel. I'm not a geologist, but it's in the technical literature. This layer extends globally in extent. Thus, the Big Bang Theory is found to have a thin veneer that is flawed. Instead of that theory holding water, what we actually find is evidence in the past Evidence for a world where living systems grew much larger. I showed you early in the program near Cookville, Tennessee, a photograph of a forest of Lepidodendron, Lepidophloas uh, trees. Actually, they're ferns. Actually, they, uh, they're lycopsid club mosses that today get about 16 or 18 inches in height. But in the fossil record, they often extend beyond 120 feet in height. There was a world in the past with an envelopment of a canopy created by a special creator named in the Bible, a world in which man was designed to live in peace and harmony. But the fact of sin and the fall is the experience that cannot be denied by mankind. Thus, we have the concept of a loving, beneficent creator expressing his light, his glory, his energy, and materializing at his will in very rapid succession the planets, planet Earth especially, the living systems, and in time, back to our genuine gold Rolex. In time, with perfect precision, intervened in human history, offered hope to mankind. Man had never been able to get beyond his own willfulness and provide a standing before even his pagan gods to satisfy his own conscience. 
But Jesus Christ came and said, I'm come that you might have life and have it more abundantly. He walked in our streets. He sat in our councils. He spoke to our children. He picked them up. And he said, permit these little children to come unto me and forbid them not, for such is the kingdom of heaven. Now, if you would like to come to him, you're going to have to come like a little child. Strip the veneer of your solid gold Rolex imitation away. Come to the genuine person of pure gold, tried in the furnace, who went to Calvary, gave his life for you, was buried, rose again, and lives right now appealing to you to let him come in. He said, Behold, I stand at the heart's door and knock. If any man just hear my voice and open the door, I will come in. I'll sup with him and he with me. Would you right now just pray this simple prayer? Just pray, Dear God, I'm a sinner. I know it and you know it. I need you. Right now, I open my heart to you. Lord Jesus, I know you are the genuine person. No one ever cared for me like you. I want you in my heart. Right now, step into my heart and live. Save me from my sin. Cover me with your blood. And I will live for you with all my heart. Now, if you pray that prayer, the stamp on your soul is not an $11.87 watch. It is the one who is the same yesterday, today, and forever. Welcome to God's eternity. Creation in the 21st century has been sponsored by Trinity Broadcasting Network. And only with your love gift of support can this program stay on the air. So write to Creation in the 21st Century, P.O. Box A, Santa Ana, California, 92711. Creation in the 21st Century is a unique program on TBN combining biblical knowledge with scientific verification. Much of the information that I use on the program is available. Contact us. Just write Creation Evidence Museum, P.O. Box 309, Glen Rose, Texas, 76043, or call us at 254-897-3200. We look forward to hearing from you today.